second day. Uh, last night we did not film that much because uh, we both got very seasick. Uh, Kim just got seasick from the motion and I got seasick when I tried to repair uh, the little bracket for our autopilot. Uh, with no success, the, broke, the, the, the bolt uh, broke in the end, but uh, being hunched uh, over forward in the cockpit with uh, nasty waves uh, caused me to get seasick as well. I just ate a few uh, saltines and drank some water, but uh, we, all night I was uh, making noises you shouldn't want to hear, especially on YouTube, so I decided not to. Um, but the, the fact that the autopilot broke is no problem because we have our good pilot steering. And actually, it's been amazing. It, uh, it steers so well on the waves. It needs a bit of wind, but we've been having, well, on average 20, 25 knots, but um, up to 40 knots and down to 10 knots. Uh, when it gets down to 10 knots, then, well, maybe we haven't set it up for light weather, but then it struggles a little bit. But anything above it just does great. The, the higher the waves, the better it works. So, yeah, we're really happy with that. Um, we're coming up to the 24 hour mark. So, I think uh, one more hour, but in 22 hours and 39 minutes, we did 134 miles. And that is pretty good for this old girl, 31 feet. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. As it sits now, we'll be uh, in uh, Gijon tomorrow afternoon. Uh, probably late morning, beginning of the afternoon, if we can keep the space up. If not, we'll be there a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, we're going uh, faster than I thought we were, so that's great. That's great. I hope the waves will calm down a little bit because they are coming from each and every single direction and some of them... And I don't mean the swell, no, the, the wind waves, they come up over our uh, solar panels. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and it's not like a swell, no, it stands, stands straight up, so it's, it's a bit... Uh, well, it's, uh, it's nauseating, but uh, yeah. We're doing well, the boat's doing well. We're making good speed, we're making good ground, so we can't complain. from the sailing and the rough weather and us just not feeling well and not cleaning stuff up. Um, as you can see the waves, well, you probably can't see on camera, but they're still pretty big. And we'll let this uh, sit for now until it calms down a bit. Uh, yeah, we're still under wind vane. We're going at seven and a half knots at some points, but also 4.8. It's a bit surfy. It's very gusty. It's between, well, we've seen 10 knots and we've seen 40 knots. I would say on average we have 19 knots with gusts up to 30. But um, yeah, it is a bit calmer. The gusts are a little less violent. Um, 
Yeah, the sea is becoming longer and longer. So it's still high, but it is also a bit longer, so it's much more comfortable. I think that's why we, uh, or why I managed to get some sleep. Kim is now uh, downstairs sleeping. Um, we are coming up on the uh, Spanish waters with 100 miles to go. Uh, so that means we already have done uh, 165 miles so far, which is very good speed. We are uh, far ahead of uh, my uh, schedule. So I think we'll arrive uh, tomorrow at the end of the morning or early afternoon, which is uh, fantastic because uh, I can go for some Spanish beer. Just past the 100 mile mark, so we only have 99.23 miles to go. <laughs> it's uh, little things like that, right, that keep you going. Um, yeah, the wind is a little less now, about 14 knots, uh, but I think it will fill in again soon. So we'll just keep on uh, keep on going like this. Um, yeah. It's still grey, so the batteries are not really charging. Not as well as usually, so um, maybe we'll start the engine uh, tonight just to uh, to make sure everything is topped off. But other than that, uh, yeah, conditions are pretty good. The waves are still there, but they're not as uh, big as they was. Kim is uh, fast asleep, so that's good. And. Uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the, uh, the pretty scenery and enjoying how well this boat is doing. This 50 year old boat that wasn't really meant to do this and <laughs> is doing it fantastic. So, uh, yeah, awesome.
but it's day two, and that over there, that's Spain. <laughs> miles to go and then we'll be in Kimo. Uh We raced the Spanish flag, I guess the flag, the courtesy flag, sorry. Uh, the winds are still 20-25 knots but uh, yeah, we're sailing under the Genoa. Wind vane is still doing a fantastic job. And there's a bit of sun. It's nice because the past few days were just uh, grey and dark and cold. Here it's a little bit warmer. The sun comes up a little bit earlier here, so yeah, it was uh, all good. Um, as you might see, I'm wearing Kim's hat because I lost my hat overboard. Um, I suddenly had to uh, eject my uh, food and beverage content and uh, I couldn't make it to our uh, vomit bucket. <laughs> So I went over the side, and when I pulled my hat back, I snagged on this, and my favorite hat went overboard. Ah, I already missed that hat because it had a little light in it, and you could charge it, and it was fantastic. So, <laughs> but yeah, what's the worst? Huh? So, it's okay. Uh, Kim is uh, taking her final rest, and then after that, we're gonna prepare to uh, go. That will probably be quite close. Yeah, I'm excited for Spain. Finally, a new, uh, new country, new surrounding. It took us a long time to uh, get a, a weather window, and this one was okay, but it was a bit rough. Uh, but it was very doable. The boat did great, uh, or it is doing great actually. And uh, yeah, we're just excited. Luckily the seasickness is gone, uh, we are a bit bruised from being thrown around the cockpit and being thrown around the cabin. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit part of it, I guess. Uh, it's beautiful, the sunrise was interesting, spectacular. The mountain range is so clear, it's, it's fantastic. Super exciting. The sea is giving us uh, <laughs> one last treat. Uh, yeah, the wind veered a little bit, so now we're going uh, upwind in uh, 25 to 30 knots. Um, I, I started the engine and hoisted the staysail. So uh, yeah, we're on the staysail just to keep the boat steady. Uh, we're motoring in uh, into the harbor now. Um, yeah, there's no point in trying to fight this. Um, we're just gonna motor in with the stay seal, motor sailing, we're doing uh, six, seven knots. So we're making good ground and then uh, we'll be in. I guess it's from the mountains or something over there, but uh, it's a little bit of an acceleration zone. But the sun's out, it's beautiful here, so I am. Still keep it up 